the Joe Rogan experience. I think he does whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. I mean, that's the only thing that explains his tweeting and all that crazy shit that he says all the time. Perhaps. Yeah, I mean, you that's know. just complete guessing. Mm -hmm. No, I know him. I knew him. Did you? Yeah, fuck yeah. Does it feel weird that he's a president? Very. He called... Okay. Amy, over there, worked for his wife for seven years. And then I got her. And I was in Maui, sitting on my bed, and I get a phone call. It's Donald. She goes, Jesus Christ, it's Donald. She hands me the phone. Do you say the Donald or just Donald? No, she said it's Donald. She, you, know, she, <laughs> you work for Ivanka. I'm just kidding. Melania. Okay. She worked for Melania and the family for seven years. Okay. Um, I get the phone call. I pick it up. I'm sitting down. And I said, I said hey, Donald. Because we, I, I'd been down to Mar-a-Lago and offered money to do shows, one-offs for him, and just stuff. I've been right. up, been up to his little castle, and um, he calls me up, and I, I said, Donald, you can't use Dream On. That's for causes, not campaigns. And he did anyway. He did anyway, and I had to sue him. I got Dina to sue him. Sent him a letter of cease and desist. So I've been through that shit. So I kind of know where lawyers live. You know how this whole world's right. run by lawyers. And Donald's got 90 lawyers that are telling him what the fuck. Okay, maybe he's not listening. Right. But when everyone is saying, if you just say, John McCain is a fucking hero. Right. If, if, if we don't see John McCain as a hero, then how do you expect any young people to want to ever join the armed forces? Because for everything they do and bullets they take, they're going to be laughed at by presidents like Trump. Right. What the fuck are you saying, Donald? Well, he said something crazy like, but you see what I I'm like saying? soldiers that don't get caught. Some of the things he said. <laughs> but, but they yeah. do. War is war. Who, who wants to? Soldiers don't get caught because they want to. Exactly. So I just tell you that, you know, he's not saying anything because he's being told what to do. And ah, See, I think he just does whatever the fuck he wants. And if the lawyers tell him, Stephen says you can't play Dream On, he's like, fuck him. I'm I know. That's it. what he did. He played it anyway. So I had sent him a cease and desist. Then he sends a letter and said, what? When I'm playing Kid Rock or fuck something, what? What? That he found a better song. He goes, I found a better song. I guess, <laughs> actually, I'm going to frame it. But well, he, that's his thing, you know. He likes insulting yeah. people. And you know what? That, I see. It. I see how that how people get off on his what it isness. I get isn't, that. Isn't he a president for this time though? I mean, this is the time we were talking before the show about people trying to drag people down and social media and there's so much hostility and people mm. are looking to be angry and insult. This is the time for that in a lot of ways, unfortunately. I, I wonder if he's opening something good. Is he opening Pandora's box for good or is he opening Pandora's box for It's our choice. Bad? I think it's our choice. But I think he's our we, president. He, he's a president. Okay. But I think we can respond to this bad feeling that we have about those kind of actions in a positive way. I think that's where there's an mm -hmm. opening. I think the opening is for people to recognize that you're not going to live forever. You can't mm -hmm. insult people into the grave and feel good when you're dying. It doesn't matter. Like, what makes you feel good right now? Mm -hmm. If something makes you feel good to constantly be knocking people down and shitting on their grave, you're probably a terrible person. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to be a terrible person. At least the majority of people don't. Mm -hmm. So I think the majority of people are going to recognize that this path is a bad one. That it might feel good in mm. the short term to say, fuck you. Yeah, we're going to make America great again. We're going to fucking light the world on fire. But I think after a while, when the tide goes in and the tide goes out, people are going to realize like this is not the way to go. Oh, yeah. I hope. I hope we're going to learn. I think the world's getting better overall. I think there's terrible moments that have always existed throughout human history. Mm -hmm. But I think overall, if you look at the period of time we live in now, you know, and Steven Pinker wrote a great big book about this, and there's a lot of evidence. I fucking points, read his book. Yeah, there's a lot of I, evidence that points to that. Every now and then I'll find somebody, um, I'll read something, see something, and I call mm -hmm. my managers, get me his number. Called Steven up. I'm from Boston. I met him and had lunch. He's at great. The, at the, what do you call, crab. <laughs> you know, you know Boston. Yes, one of the best restaurants on the planet. The barking crab. The barking the crab. Barking crab. I fucking met him. I had lunch with him and he's my manager Rebecca. What a fucking slamming guy. Yeah, he's a really Long kind hair, person. Long hair, fucking smart as Super can be. Super friendly. Yeah. This is the kind of people. This is the kind. This is the. I agree with you. We need. It's time for lifting up. Yeah. Well, but I think that's going to happen. There's I a really big thumb do. on I think us it's right now. <laughs>